The development of robots whose behavior and movement are as similar as possible to the behavior and movements of real representatives of the animal kingdom seems to be a much more difficult task compared to the development of the next Asimo or Atlet. This is not the first time we are talking about the inventions of the innovative company Festo. In the past, we have considered a dragonfly robot, a smart bird mechanical seagull, a bionic and guru robotic kangaroo from a German company. However, for the Hanover Messi exhibition, which will be held in Germany next month, Festo has prepared three new bionic creations, a small colony of ant robots, a robotic gripper operating on the principle of the chameleon tongue, as well as a graceful butterfly robot. Bionic ant robotic ants are considered by Festo as an example of a possible alternative to modernizing the production of the future. When high-tech, intelligent robotic structures united in hierarchies, controlled from above will be engaged in the production of various objects and parts in factories. In factories, the presented ant robots, according to the Festo engineers themselves, do not just look like enlarged copies of their protégés in nature. Thanks to a very complex control algorithm, the company's engineers managed to get these ant robots to copy the collective behavior found in the real world thanks to which in colonies can solve truly complex tasks. They behave almost the same as their real models in reality. Thanks to a set of simple and understandable rules for them, bionic and robots can perform their tasks together, says Dr. Heinrich Franzek, head of corporate communications and future concepts. They are able to communicate with each other and coordinate their actions and movements. Each ant in the group makes its own decision. However, this solution is always compared with the solution of other ants, which ultimately allows them to collectively and effectively and effectively perform the task assigned to them. The use of embossed printed circuit boards and three-dimensional circuits integrated into the housing elements created thanks to laser technologies opens up a lot of creative space and makes the creation of robots easier. Piazza ceramic transmitters are used in the foot drives and gripping clamping cams. Each ant is equipped with two cameras on its head. The robot's position is monitored by an optical sensor mounted on the abdomen. The size of each bionic ant robot is 13.5 centimeters. The robot receives power from two 7.2 volt batteries. For greater persuasiveness, two metal antennas are used. A kind of antennas are used. A kind of antenna. You can follow the work of a small colony of robot ants in the video below. If an insect lands next to a chameleon, then this insect will have little chance of avoiding the chameleon tongue. Festo, in collaboration with the University of Oslo, has created Flex-Shaped Gripper, a robotic gripper that works on the same principle as the sticky tongue of this amazing lizard, attached to a robotic arm and filled with water. The elastic silicone grip is capable of literally enveloping and lifting objects around. At the same time, in some cases, it is possible to capture several items at once. For this invention, Festo sees the future in manufacturing, where robots may be required to work more accurately with carrying certain things of various shapes and sizes. The operation of the flex-shaped gripper elastic grip can be viewed in the video below. Festo's interest in developing flying robots is not fading, and therefore the company has introduced a robotic version of one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth, a butterfly, or rather, a whole brew of robotic butterflies, emotion butterflies, which the company created thanks to the previously accumulated experience in the production of Bionicopter Dragonfly robots. The resulting butterfly robots can simulate collective behavior and independently avoid obstacles in their path thanks to an external network monitoring system that includes GPS navigation sensors and infrared cameras competently placed around the perimeter of their flight zone area. Each robotic butterfly has an infrared marker on its abdomen, due to which it can navigate in space. The received information is transmitted to the central computer which tells her where she can or cannot fly further. Festo created these amazing robotic insects to demonstrate dense functional integration, advances in the field of facilitating robotic structures, as well as the communication capabilities of individual systems. Each robot is equipped with ultralight wings with a maximum span of 50 centimeters and a minimum weight of the entire structure of 32 grams. 
Thanks to the independent and individual calculation of the amplitude of the swing, its speed and the corresponding turning points in each case, it is possible to achieve maximum similarity with the behavior of a real butterfly in flight. The frequency of the wings of a motion butterfly butterflies can range from 1 to 2 high Z. Due to this, they are able to cover distances up to 2.5 meters per second. The flight time of the butterfly robot is about 4 minutes after which their batteries need to be recharged, which, by the way, takes about 15 minutes. The butterfly body, created by laser sintering, contains OX Mega 32.5 and Mega 328 microcontrollers, two servos for the wings, an internal sensor, gyroscope, accelerometer, compass, two radio modules, and two 7.4 volt LiPo battery cells, the first ready-made solutions in the field of medical technology are just beginning to penetrate into healthcare. The developers are tasked with facilitating the work of a doctor, getting rid of routine, freeing up time to communicate with patients and solve complex cases. The first area where AI technologies began to be introduced was radiology. Since research in this area is of a visual nature, computer and magnetic resonance imaging, x-rays and fluorography, the use of digital services is especially effective here. A neural network based on machine vision is able to recognize a variety of pathologies, even their smallest manifestations, which a radiologist may not notice, may not notice. Algorithms indicate places to focus on or conversely, obviously healthy areas that are not worth wasting time on. Such diagnostic methods are widely used to control oncological diseases, says Sergei Voinov. Director of Acceleration in the Digital Medicine Direction of the Biological and Medical Technologies Cluster of the Skolkovo Foundation. The final decision is made by a person. The computer only helps at the stage of pre-moderation. And here machine vision technologies come to the fore. Today, the Russian MedTech has several successful projects dealing with artificial intelligence and radiology. Among them, it is worth noting the work of residents of the Skolkovo Foundation. Botkin AIU, Care Mentor, Celsus, and Third Opinion. The radiological field is very broad. Companies focus on specific sectors and create highly specialized products. For example, there are many non-standard solutions, such as the recognition of early manifestations of Alzheimer's disease by Alzheimer's disease by MRI of the brain. In addition to radiology, artificial intelligence is actively used in the field of semantic analysis that is, the use of machine learning for text analysis. This is how artificial intelligence identifies certain patterns in textual information. This is necessary, for example, to systematize the data contained in electronic medical records and to identify certain signs that the doctor may not be very close and understandable. The patient's medical record is filled out by several doctors at once, a cardiologist, a neurologist, a therapist, and so on. The idea is to instruct the AI to collect and analyze the information entered by different specialists and put it together. Thanks for attention. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the bell.